Hello everyone. Recently, Ambulance has been released. Let's see how the audience will feel after watching the movie. Brief Introduction This film is remade from a 2005 Danish film of the same name in which meritorious veteran Will Sharp, Yehya Abdulmating, finds his foster brother Danny, Jack Gyllenhaal, for help in order to save his wife. As a result, he was involved in the largest bank robbery in Los Angeles history. The fatal error in the escape forced the two to hijack an ambulance carrying a dying policeman and a top first aid expert Kim Thompson, Aisha Gonzalez. In this long high-speed chase, Will and Danny tried their best to avoid a large-scale manhunt by the city's police, ensure the lives of the hostages, try not to draw knives at their brothers, and complete the craziest and most thrilling escape in Los Angeles history. Audience 1 colon 4 stars the most normal movie you've seen in the cinema recently, you can think of everything you can think of to sell copies of the movie. There's no surprise, but you won't be disappointed. The photography is good, the drone is really smooth, and the perspective is clear. Watching the fierce bandits on the screen spend their lives incisively and vividly in their fugitive flight, I really feel unworthy of my life. Audience 2 colon 2 stars. The two of us spent 120, plus, to watch a full worrying movie. In fact, we could have guessed it was ugly before watching it, but we just felt that we needed to see a movie and need to watch a movie to prove that we were back to normal life. Several ticket warehouse cities have experienced disasters this year, and I was saddened to hear that even the studio of Nanjing Deji had collapsed. Bork said, forget it, just support the cinema. Audience 3 colon 5 stars. So ridiculous, it's awesome. Every Los Angeles resident's favorite live news broadcast, Car Chase and Catch, was photographed with a drone and put on the IMAX screen. I'd watch this over Batman or Nolan or any new A24 movie any day. Any fucking day. Audience 4, colon 1 stars. High definition and gaudy digital photography and overgrandiose shuttle scheduling constitute the background of this audiovisual disaster, of course, it can be said to be an experiment, but I really hate it. Unrestrained and filled with old-fashioned boredom and unimaginative faculties, Michael Bay's enthusiasm for gamification is obvious, even the camera doesn't stop for a moment. The picture also looks like a light chase. So the question is, why not play games for two hours? What do you think?